It has been the biggest youth tournament in the world with lots of unprecedented expectations. Zambia, the African champions, have continued to impress throughout the tournament. But this morning, the team faced its toughest opponents, Italy. Even though Zambia scored in the first five minutes of the game, it was not enough to proceed to the next round. Italy equalized in the second half, setting up what can be termed as game fit for the finals. In the extra time, Italy became victorious with a 3-2 win over Zambia. A ZNBC news crew caught up with some Kito residents just after the game. The boys have been performing excellent from the way to go up to this time. But what, one thing that I want to emphasize is on the referees. Because the African countries, all, most of the times, we have been laid down by referees. Uh, we are disappointed that uh, we've not gone to, through to the semi-finals. But I think the boys should be given credit. They've done us uh, proud. They did very well. Of course, you know, it's not all the time that you carry the day. Others have called on government to create more sports facilities to enable more youths get involved in sports activities. What you've done, we're saying, it's a good job for Zambians just to keep up and to bless them. What you've done for us, we are so much impressed about them. And they say just to welcome them and to see what we can do for them. Even the commentator said it was clear it was an offside. We, are, we were waiting for the, for the technology to show us whether it was offside or not. There was nothing which was showed. I think that uh, the uh, as video assistant referring system should be discarded. I'm happy this was experimental and it has failed, so it should not continue. The young Chipolo Polo's World Cup journey may have ended, but they will come back as heroes because this is the first time Zambia has reached this far. Mshotampundu, ZNBC News in Kitwe.